Hello, hello again, my loveliest free melons. Welcome back to the Free Melon Society. I am Eli Martyr. Thank you so much for joining me once again here on the channel. And today, before we get started, just a couple of quick, uh, quick notes and quick updates. As many of you know, I was on a long fast, uh, my yearly long fast, much longer than I usually, usually do. Still on a little bit of my uh, vacation from from life, so just taking taking time away from from work and whatnot to uh, to do this fast, to recover, refeed, and all that. So I'm all done my fast, starting my uh, recovery, and so I will be I will be back, you know, uh, pretty soon. So today we're just going to be doing a quick uh, quick audio log, just to keep you updated with uh, with how things are going. Everything is going very well. But yeah, we'll be back. Uh, we'll be back uh, quite uh, quite soon, and have lots of lots of new stuff, and carry on with how the channel's been normally proceeding. Additionally, there was a new Facebook group for the Free Melon Society. I posted the link in the description below. So anytime you want to go and check out the Facebook group, I encourage you to join. Uh, you might you might find some extra help there. Okay, so. Today we're a little bit on the run, so I decided to just do an audio log for you guys. Picking up from where we left off, I kind of started the fast right in the middle of a queue of videos that I was intending on making. <clears throat> One of them was on teeth and dentition, so I thought I might as well take an opportunity to talk a bit about why it is that very often uh, fruitarians experience problems with their teeth. Uh, what's, what's going on, what's happening, what you can do about it, and all, all that good stuff. Okay. So, uh, in my personal example, what happened in my experience with my teeth? And my personal example might not be a, a might not be very uh, helpful because I didn't experience uh, much of anything, uh, tooth wise on my fruitarian, uh, fruitarian journey. And now that we're at the two and a half year mark, uh, being a fruitarian, or at least, you know, 99% fruitarian, if, if you like. Uh, yeah, we still haven't had any tooth problems. Okay, so what's happening? Why is it that some people that go on a high fruit diet experience tooth problems? Uh, other people that go on a high fruit diet don't really experience these problems. And the answer is because you have to remember that teeth, just like any other part of your body, are connected to every single other part of your body. Right, your blood supply, just as it feeds the bones, you know, for, with minerals and blood and whatnot, it also feeds your teeth with minerals and blood and nutrition and whatnot. It's the same blood supply. It's the same. It's the same holistic system that runs to take care of your teeth as every single other part of your body. So there is no, there's no part of you that is disconnected. So whenever a disturbance arises in one part of the body, you can be sure that what is happening is that at that location, at that particular area in the body, the site of weakness where toxemia or acids have accumulated, the body is either attempting to detox, that is detoxing, which would, which would cause discomfort, or has inflammation or an accumulation of poisons or whatnot. It's the total environment that is the cause, okay? Not necessarily that fruit is the cause, because if fruit were the cause of bad teeth or, or tooth problems, then by necessity, everyone would experience bad teeth, which is not the case at all. So here are some points that we can take away from this, okay? Decay of the tooth starts from the inside. Just like every other problem of the human body, it starts from the inside, it is not necessarily a result of the outside coming in. Okay. So it's a, it's a result of the cleanliness of the inside of the body. There's no amount of scrubbing or brushing that can offset the effects of a toxic system in the long term. Why do we know this? Because people who brush their teeth every single day have bad teeth. There are lots and lots and lots of people who are just in bad states of health who have cavities, who go to the dentist, who keep the dentist's office filled, right? And they brush every single day, just like everyone else. And they, they do their regular dental hygiene and, and they still have bad teeth. So, I mean, if cleaning your teeth were the, the fix, well, the dentist's office would be empty. No one would need to go. And the last point, if a system is clean and healthy, the mouth will be clean and healthy, right? It, it's really as simple as that. 
Now, we've got millions of animals on the planet. It's always helpful to go back and remind ourselves that why would we be the only ones that experience tooth problems when virtually every single species on the planet doesn't seem to have any of these issues? Right? So what is it that they're doing that we aren't doing? And of course, the issue lies in the damage that we've done to ourselves in the past with incorrect dieting and eating, okay? that has accumulated poison in our body in, in a particularly uh, specific way to you, to that person, that may result in tooth problems depending on the person if they switch to a high fruit diet, but not necessarily another person because the way they've accumulated the poisons or where the body has accumulated poisons might be different because we're all, we're all different in that way and how we store toxins and, and whatnot. So what's making the difference between all the other animals that do not develop tooth problems and human beings that do develop tooth problems when they transition to a more natural diet is that when we transition to a more natural diet, the body is re-energized, okay? The neurons are beginning to get re refurbished and now detox symptoms start to appear and the detox systems are in direct proportion to the amount of damage that we've done to ourselves in the past, whereas the animals haven't really done that damage to themselves in the past. Their bodies aren't loaded with poisons because their diets have been pretty natural for the entirety of their lives, whereas we have to go through a process whereby we are purging, and sometimes the purging is of the skin, of the bones, of the mucous membranes, of the teeth, whatever it is, okay? Okay, so let's get back to what to do. So, um, proper tooth care is going to have less to do with how you brush, what brush you use, and, you know, what fluids you use and what uh, toothpaste you use, and more so to do with the timing of your dental care and practice to avoid too much damage, okay? And, and what I mean by that is I want you to think of it more of this in a natural setting, and teeth, just like any other part of the body, are self-repairing and self, uh, self-regenerating, self just like your muscles, just like your bones are. So think about it. You go to the gym, you, you work out, your muscles get a little bit uh, damaged, and then you rest, and then they're strengthened again, okay? They, they repair themselves. If you work out too hard, you might uh, damage some tissue, and then the tissue regenerates and it repairs, right? Let's say you walk with heavy backpack, right? Your bones will, will get stronger because your bones are being used. And so as they get used more, they get stronger and stronger. Now, there's no, there's no reason to assume that the teeth are any different. As the teeth are used, they, they should get stronger because they're fed by the exact same life-giving blood supply uh, as the rest of your body. And, and this is pretty much exactly what happens with eating. When you eat a food, apples are, apples and pears are a great example because they're one of the good dental cleaners. If you ever notice when you eat an apple or, or a pear or whatnot, your teeth get pretty clean, kind of how it, how it should be. What happens when you eat food is that if there's any kind of abrasion or whatnot on your teeth as you chew your food, it's like a workout session and your teeth need a little bit of time to relax and repair and recover from whatever it is you ate. So the first thing that I would do is I would get rid of the practice of brushing your teeth after you have a meal. It would kind of be like two hours of bench press and then half hour later doing another heavy two hours of bench press, right? It's probably a bit too much. It's probably overtraining. Let's say you're a Muay Thai fighter and you are doing shin conditioning. You kick a tree, you kick the tree, you kick the tree, shins fracture. And you're like, oh, okay, crap. I need some time to recover. And then you do it again the next day, the same practice. You, your bones don't have time to recover properly, so you end up doing a bit more damage. Try to think of brushing your teeth in, in that sense. So eating is like the workout, and brushing right after puts a little bit more stress on the teeth than they need. So what I would do is I would brush ahead of time, brush before your meals, and leave at least a couple of hours after your meal if you feel you really need to brush again. Because the abrasive action of the bristles, it can abrade that fine, fine layer of material that's on your teeth already that kind of gets scraped off when you're eating the food. And so the bristles can, can brush a bit too deep. So you'd be causing a bit more damage. Brush ahead of time. Wait several hours after you eat your meal before you brush again. If you've got a lot of 
material that you feel that you want to at least rinse off, you can rinse off with water, but don't, uh, don't brush quite yet. Leave that to a little bit later. Let your teeth strengthen and rest naturally after a meal as they normally would. If your teeth are sensitive, avoid things that cause excessive sensitivity at first. The lemons and the limes and whatnot. You know, if those are going to cause some sensitivity. If you're experiencing the symptoms, then it just means that your your body is, is detoxing and purging through your mouth. You need to be sensitive to that. And you need to be careful with that. And just make sure to eat the fruits that are not going to be as aggressive. Limit your use of overly acidic foods at first. Maybe limit your use of dried fruits at first. You don't have to avoid them completely, but just make sure to keep them to a minimum because they can be sticky and whatnot. They can get in between your teeth. For people who are experiencing the sensitivity, that might not be the greatest thing. Have an apple, have a pear. Make that maybe the last thing that you eat for the day. You'd be surprised. You know, the apple and the pear, they do do a pretty good job of cleaning the teeth. So try to include a couple of those more abrasive types of fruits and see how that works for you. And now finally, let's get quickly into what to use. So what what tools should we use? What How should we go about cleaning? And what have I done in the past? Again, you know me, my approach is very, very, very simple. I think we pay a bit too much attention and too much care and concern to, to how we are cleaning our teeth. I think scaling it back, not cleaning and brushing as often, but cleaning and brushing at the right times, A, that's one thing. So, you know, prior to the meals and not after. But also, you should try to be less aggressive. Most people, when they brush, they're very aggressive on their teeth. They scrub and scrub and scrub because they, they want to get right down in there and just clean everything out. I think you should try to be less aggressive on the teeth because we don't necessarily want to scrape the protective layer coating on your teeth off completely. We just want to give it a light cleaning. So I think we should be a little less aggressive. And obviously the fluoride conventional toothpastes are not going to do these things are chemical laden, chemical rich. They are going to temporarily make your mouth feel like it's very clean because it's a chemical agent. It might bleach your teeth, yeah, for the time being when you look in the mirror, but it's not really healthy in the long term. If you've never tried it, try just brushing lightly with water. Just water. It does a pretty good job and it doesn't give your mouth the artificial feel of chemicals. If you need something a bit more aggressive, you can try the coconut oil and baking soda approach. Ratio wise, uh, uh, if you mix about half a cup of coconut oil or a cup of coconut oil with one to two teaspoons of aluminum free baking soda. If you need a taste, you can add some other type of essential oil if you like. There's tons of YouTube videos on that. I mean, you don't need me for that. And every once in a while, I might, you know, try one of those homemade natural toothpaste, but uh, to be honest, I use it very, very rarely. Usually I just use water. Sometimes no water, sometimes just dry. Have you ever tried dry brushing? Without applying too much pressure, you can lightly apply some brushing action to your teeth and get a good cleaning without using anything. So I would do this in the morning and that might be it for the day. Or, you know, before bed, the amount of days that I've gone to bed without brushing right after a, a meal it is up there it's it happens all the time okay so i've talked a lot let's uh let's recap just a little bit main points to take away from this decay of the teeth starts from the inside it's an inside out process excessive scrubbing or brushing cannot offset the effects of a toxic and corrupt system okay and a dirty system and a healthy and clean body will have healthy and clean teeth okay so those are the main points that i want you to remember and then how to take care of your teeth Teeth, like any other part of the body, will properly maintain themselves so long as the whole body is taken care of. The teeth are just like muscles and bones that get stronger with more activity. We shouldn't overdo the stress that we put on them by brushing after activity. So after you eat, don't brush your teeth. Eliminate all harmful chemicals and, and poisons. Even a lot of those natural toothpastes out there, they're loaded with chemicals, guys, loaded. So the safest thing that you can do is start to brush with just water. Try just water. Start to be less aggressive with how forcefully you clean your teeth. Be very gentle. Be very gentle with your teeth and do it before your meals, not after. Limit the use of things that cause too much sensitivity at first. This is not a permanent thing. 
This is just a temporary thing. As the body gets cleaner and cleaner with a better diet, eventually the teeth will start to hurt less and less. Go for the good old apple a day. Go for the good old two apples a day if you choose. That will definitely help or any of the other more abrasive types of fruits. Keep it simple, keep it clean, and eventually your teeth will stop bothering you. I know a sensitive tooth can be frustrating. I, I haven't had many issues in the past. There were one or two instances where I was eating lots of dried fruits where I had a bit of sensitivity. And then, you know, I scaled it back a bit and then it just went away very, very fast. Work with yourself. Work with work with your body. It's not a permanent thing. Keep eating naturally. Keep being delicate. Don't overdo the cleaning. I think that's that's when we run into the most problems when we when we overdo the cleaning, and then we just we give the teeth too much stress and end up doing a bit more damage than good. I'm not saying throw don't throw away your toothbrush. Don't throw away your you know your natural toothpaste. You know you don't have to do any of that. Don't throw away your floss. I'm not saying any of that. These are all good uses of you know, our ingenuity and our technology that help us be more hygienic. So, you know, don't get rid of all of that. Just be aware that as a species, you shouldn't need all of it. There should be a natural way to maintain your your integrity without any of these things, because that's how it works for everything else on planet Earth. So just bear that in mind. And if you are experiencing problems, just know that symptoms are your body just trying to get rid of stuff. So work with that, be gentle, and you'll eventually your teeth will be okay. Thank you so much for hearing me out on this audio log. Look forward to more with you. Subscribe to the Free Melon Society if you haven't already. If these videos are helpful, make sure to like them and share and give them a thumbs up. That's it for now, guys. I'll see you next time on the Free Melon Society.